And we start off with Donna Karen, good name. It's a name many are familiar with, I think. She's a fashion designer. Well, Donna Karen from Horwich is a seamstress of sorts. She's been recruiting an army of people from all over the country to make wash bags, which NHS frontline staff can put their uniforms in after their shift and then just shove in the washing machine all together when they get home. Donna Karen, good morning. Good morning, Becky. Nice to talk to you. I bet a lot of things have been said over the years about your name. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, many, many. So we'll just park that. I won't add to that because I could imagine if I could see you face to face, your eyes would be rolling round. However, you only started, Donna, last week, didn't you? Now you've got a huge team of people all over the place making these bags. Absolutely, absolutely. It started uh, at the beginning of April when my daughter, who's newly qualified uh, radiology, diagnostic radiology student, so being thrown in at the deep end, wow. and her friend, who has also just been thrown in at the deep end as a newly qualified nurse, I was quite concerned because I'm now isolated. I can't do anything. I can't help. Yeah. I can't even look after the children. How can I help? Mm. I saw a post that said, wash bags. Messaged my daughter, said, can I make these for you? Well, yes, please make oh. us some for our department. And it grew from there. My friend made me over 50. I made, I don't know, I don't know, 40-ish, 50-ish. And then I had a huge delivery from um, the... It's a mud run group. I don't know if... I'm sure people, your listeners will know all about it. I had a huge delivery from them and I, it was too much. I couldn't deal with that. So my daughter suggested I started a group. Mm-hmm. I have never started a group. <laughs> I have never grown a Facebook group. It was very scary. But you did Laura it. Encouraged me, and I did it. And from there, we have got just in the Bolton, Horwich, Preston, and Charlie group. Mm. We've got over over three hundred members. We have also got offshoots on our national page. Wow, offsh- listen to you with your national York, page. Devon, <laughs> national page, get yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I can't believe we've got a group in Bolton that are creating just for Christie's. Right. We've got a, a group in Charlie that are just starting up, very, very new. In fact, our York group will be on the uh, Yorvik radio this morning. And the Bolton branch of our little group, because uh, we're providing for Preston and Charlie in the Horwich area, uh, I've had an order for 100 of these wash bags wow. for the Nightingale unit. Oh, right, of They're course. Yeah, we're talking just about for that. The in Nightingale a moment. unit, yeah. So, so do you, you put your kit in and, and you wash the bag as well, do you? Is that how well, it works? Yeah. yeah, they get changed at, at work. Yes. And they put their kit or their uniform. Some people will need two bags because they'll have different colour top to bottom. So they will bag two yes uh, which is fine some people will need four because you can't have the same uniform you're not going to go and wash it and then come straight back after a 12 hour shift no so it isn't just the one bag per person that we're aiming for we need four or five bags we're also creating shoe bags do you know we what? Don't know where this virus lives. No, so no, we're no. These bags. And how do you feel, Donna, that you're doing this? That you've got other people involved in this? That you really are doing what you can to help? How does it make you feel? Every time somebody comes to my door with a bag of bags that they've made, or <laughs> freshly laundered bedding, I, I thank them mm. from a dis- distance, of course. Yeah. Um, I, it's amazing. I give everybody instructions what to do when they've picked up my bags. People are collecting on their daily walk, going yeah. to shopping, etc., etc. Everybody's doing it in a very safe manner. Yeah. I've got a group of people who will drop off and pick up on their prescription runs, yeah. going to work. Yeah. They're amazing. I can't thank everybody enough i am well you know she wasn't big enough no but donna that's the word that i'm going to use um from me to you and i'm using this word so much at the moment because people like you are actually making such a difference so thank you thank you to your team thank you especially to your daughter for what she is doing as well is she, i presume she works at the christie does she no, no, my daughter works at Preston. Her friend um, works at Bolton. Right. Um, it's it's a, a friend over in um, 
Bolton that her boyfriend works at Christie. And they've right. not seen each other for four weeks because of the lockdown. Oh, that's a different story. That's hard, isn't it? it? But it. listen, Donna, thank you very, very much indeed. You better get back. I'm sure you've got a thank bit you. of... I bet you've got <laughs> some sewing to do. We have. But can I just tell anybody that please, please get in touch. We need much. We need smaller groups. We need big groups. We need groups everywhere please 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 help all right lovely donna thank you very much and if you want details of anything you hear about actually uh, on the breakfast show here with me becky want and you think oh i could do that i could do what donna's doing all you need to do is phone us 0800 218 2255 and we will give you the relevant details